I'm here today at Survival Equipment Services with Del Hall, the Managing Director, and he's going to show me a remarkable product that they've developed, which is effectively a stretcher in a bag. Now, uh, Del, looking at this bag, it's a little hard to believe there's a stretcher in here, so perhaps you could uh, demonstrate this for me. Yeah, no problem. I think the point of this is that it's very quick to deploy, is that right? Is. Yeah. You can leave the bag there. Wow, that is quick to deploy. So that was what, a couple of seconds really, wasn't it? From, yes. from undoing the zip to actually uh, getting the stretcher out. Okay, so we're going to go over to a table now and you're going to um, describe some of the features to me. So we've got the stretcher out on the table now, Dell. Um, so before you talk me through some of these straps and things, tell me what it's made of. Okay, um, the main body is made of a mesh, which is, has plastic inserts, and then we have carbon fibre rods, which is extremely strong. This is what makes it lightweight and compact. And um, we've tested this up to 250 kilos. So 250, ki 250 kilos is the weight it will it can yeah. withstand. Yes. Carrying it. So, so obviously that's... It's a I don't think there are any humans who are no. heavier than that, are there? No, not at all. Um, and what about the, the weight of the thing itself when you're carrying it around? It's 4.5 kilos. Right, so it's not too heavy then. No, I not mean, at I, all. Obviously, I was holding the bag just now and it, it felt pretty light to me. OK, so uh, let's uh, talk through some of these straps then. What, well, let's start at the, presumably, okay. the, the head end yeah, there. Head end. Oh, see, the head end is a pad. So we have a removable pad, which can be taken away and cleaned or exchanged, uh, which we have a retaining strap here which is for the chin, or you can be moved up to the forehead. It's fully adjustable. We then have four body straps um, to keep down the body, upper, middle section, upper legs, and the lower feet section. And I notice you've, you've gone black, yellow, black, yellow. Is there a particular reason for that? Really so that we don't get them mixed up. But just as a safety precaution, these are double securing buckles. In other words, you have to press both button and the side to release them. But it also means that if you look at the yellow strap, although it is colour coded, we can't cross them over and match them because we've alternated them. So in other words, they can only go into the buckles on the straps they are right, so associated you, So you with. can't make a mistake. And no, presumably you if you were doing this in, in poor light, that would help yes, as well. Yes, indeed, yes. Absolutely. And there's another, there's a sort of longitudinal strap there as well. What's yep. that for? Um, these are a full body restraint heart that goes on before these are attached. So this will secure you around the crutch area, on the legs, and then over the shoulders with a training strap across the chest. This will keep you in position when you're moved into different various angles up and down or even vertically it will still restrain you right. in the harness. So if the patient is being transported over some really rough ground or up yes. a lift shaft or something like that they're, they're basically correct. going to be completely safe. Yes correct. Um, I also noticed there are some some little uh, loops on the on the stretcher what are these for? Yeah we have four secure loops strategically placed for balance and if you lift these this is for the horizontal lifting now this can be either done by a winch or even possibly a helicopter, and we have a set of straps that would come up to a central point and you could lift the patient up that way. Now tell me uh, about maintenance. I mean, is there any maintenance to do on it or is it fairly maintenance free? It, it's fairly maintenance free. Um, we've tested with all sort of known chemical cleaning in the sort of health industry. So all those are applicable. It could be power washed. Um, the only thing that we really do is to make sure that the rods are kept clean and dry. Right, OK. And I noticed uh, the bag earlier, when we took it out of, uh, out of its bag, there's a little pocket in the front yes. here, uh, which has another strap in it. So I wonder if you could uh, tell me what this is for. Yeah, OK. As you can see around the stretcher, there are four lifting and carrying handles. Yeah. So you can carry four people. Yeah. But through extensive research and asking different rescue teams, some people prefer a six-man carry option. So what we've done, central point here, we've attached... Uh, two Velcro patches and we secure a strap and this is strong enough to hold it in place and we can have the six people carry. Right, okay, so for those rescue teams that prefer a six-man lift, yes. that's, that's the option. Indeed. Okay, and also down here we've got an identical stretcher but in a completely different colour. So, uh, so tell me why have you, why have you got different colours? Um, the orange one is primarily our commercial product, so uh, rescue services, fire ambulance, those sort of people. Um, but the green, well we've aimed this at the military market. So we have green, we have a sand and we have a complete black for so-called covert operations if you wish. Right, so and they're built to the same standard. So you've got uh, basically a, a stretcher for any environment, yes. any use. Dell, the MD of SES, has left the room now and rather unwisely he's left the stretcher with me. So I thought I'd have a go and see if I can deploy it and see if it's really as easy as Dell made it look. So I'll see if I can remember how it's done. Put it on the floor, undo the zip, pull back the top cover 
And if I remember rightly, all I've got to do is grab the sides here and stand up. So here we go. There, I did it. Well, that just proves if I can do it, anybody can. And I'll just turn it around to prove to you it's the same structure that Dell deployed earlier.